king come, that I may breathe my last in wholesome counsel to his unstayed youth. Vex not thyself, nor strive not with thy breath, for all in vain comes counsel to his ear. Oh, but they say the tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. He that no more must say is listened more than they whom youth and ease have taught to close. More are men's ends marked than their lives before. Setting sun, music at the close, as the last taste of sweets is sweetest last, writ in remembrance more than things long past. Though Richard my life's counsel would not hear, my death's sad tale may yet undeaf his ear. No, it is stopped with other flattering sounds, as praises whose taste the wise are fond, lascivious meters, to whose venom sound the open ear of youth doth always listen, report of fashions in proud Italy, whose manners still our tardy apish nation limps after in base imitation. <laughs> Where doth the world thrust forth a vanity, serving you there's no respect how vile that is not quickly buzzed into his ear. Direct not him whose way himself will choose. Tis breath thou lacks, and that breath wilt thou lose. Methinks I am a prophet new inspired, and thus expiring do foretell of him. His rash, fierce blaze of riot cannot last, for violent fires soon burn out themselves. With eager feeding, food doth choke the feeder. Light vanity, insatiate Cormorant, consuming means, soon preys upon itself. This royal throne of kings, the sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself, against infection in the hand of war. This happy breed of men, this little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England, this land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land is now Least at. I die pronouncing it like to a tenement, a pelting farm. England, bound in with the triumphant sea, whose rocky shore beats back the envious siege of watery Neptune, is now bound in with shame, with inky blots and rotten parchment bonds. That England that was wont to conquer others hath made a shameful conquest of itself. But would the scandal vanish with my life? How happy then were my ensuing death. The king is come, and deal mildly with his youth, for hot young colts being raged to rage them all. 